I got digital dash, can't ride with a art. I walk in the store and I buy the stock. I hide in the bins and pull off the lot. Got to find the diamond, it cost me a lot. They flying like birds, but drop on this hot. 400 degrees, I burned up the block. Burn out, make one call, they turn out. So you see the gang, get the word out. When the shit getting hot, you the first out. Cover my wrist with a watch and I flood it with rocks. Now I look at the time all day. EP high, I wrap the old block and I drop off the top and I know you can see my face. You my dog at the end, don't care what the bitches. Yo, what's up with YouTube? It's your boy Fizz back in a bit with yet another video. And t today, I'm coming to you guys with a best playmaking bad setup. But before we get into that, thank you guys for 10k subs. Now, I, what I did for 8k. I believe I did like a banger week. So we gonna try to make this like a another week. There's nothing but bangers. I'm gonna come at y'all with a lot of ranking videos. I'm gonna come at y'all with a jump shot video. I'm gonna come at y'all at the end with a best builds video where I'm gonna be going over the best guard build, best big man build, and best spot up build. So yeah, man, if you guys ready for all these joints to come out as soon as possible, all you gotta do is spam up the like button and we finna be going crazy. It's that simple. We finna be going crazy. It's finna last for a whole week. Um I'm also going to be dropping codes either in the comments or on the community tab. So if you guys want some codes for like PS4 or Xbox, all you got to do is just go to the community tab or go down in the comments and it'll be there. Now, if it's gone, it's gone. I'm most likely going to delete it after it's gone. It's that simple. It's not like a giveaway or anything. It's just random codes just to give y'all my appreciation for supporting me. But yeah. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into this video. We're going to be going over the best playmaking bad setup. Now, when, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over the guards. And for the guards, I'm going to be doing Hall of Fame badges all the way throughout. And for the big man, I'm only going to go to 15 because there's not too many big man builds that even go past 15. So, with that being said, I'm going to only go to 15 and it's only going to be all gold because there's only like a couple big man builds that even get hall of fame and those big man builds are kind of like guards like a playmaking glass you might as well count that as a guard because it really plays like a guard so i know there's some big man builds like a glass hand lock out there that you can get hall of fame playmaking on but i'm still gonna do it this way because yeah it just makes more sense because that's only like one build out of all the big man builds you can even make so yeah i'm gonna go with i'm gonna do 15 for the big man and i'm gonna do 30 for the guards and when i say big man that counts for spot ups you know lockdowns all type of stuff like that it's pretty much mainly people that don't iso or don't go around screens you know what i'm saying like if you're on the twos court you got a guard and a big so whatever the big man side of that that's what the big man side for the badges is gonna be and that's what in the guard is gonna be for like the person that usually is the main person with the ball or something like that or like a secondary ball handler on a prom team i guess but yeah without further let's go ahead and get straight into the video all right, so first things first, bro. First badge I'm gonna be putting on is quick first step bronze. Cause for guards, I've said it many, many, and many of times. I feel like quick first step is the most important badge for guards, any type of guard build, because that's how you speed boost. Speed boosting, in my opinion, is the most important thing for any guard. If you can't speed boost, it's pretty much hard to get open unless you like playing off ball and just using screens it's that simple but if you have the ball in your hands it's pretty much impossible to get open because you're gonna be too slow or you're gonna be limiting yourself all right next we're gonna be moving quick first step just simply moving it up to silver and then at three upgrades we're gonna be moving it up to gold and then finally we're gonna be moving it up to hall of fame i'm gonna just do it like that for this video because it's gonna make it go by a lot quicker it's not gonna be way too long like the last one last one was like almost 30 minutes i'm gonna try to make this joint as short as possible but yeah i went into hall of fame when you go from bronze to silver it makes a big jump then you go from silver to gold it makes a bigger jump and then when you go to gold to hall of fame it literally reduces it to half like if you don't have quick draw at not quick draw but quick first step at all it like makes you just as it like makes you double the speed pretty much so yeah depending on what your ball handle and ball control you're gonna be able to speed boost at a crazy rate but if you have a ball low ball control and a low speed this is gonna be very op for you too so yeah quick first step is one of the most overpowered badges in the game i have a whole badge video where i ranked it and it came in the top three i'm not gonna say if it's one two or three but it came in the top three all right for the next badge upgrade we're gonna be going with handles for days bronze stamina is one of the most important things in this game so it's only right that we go with handles for days for that next upgrade and then after we go bronze we're gonna just be moving it up to silver for the next badge upgrade 
And then after silver, we're gonna be going to gold for the next badge upgrade. And then after that, we're just gonna be moving up to Hall of Fame. And then once you go from, obviously, as you keep moving up, as you keep moving up, it's gonna make your stamina, you're gonna have more and more stamina as you go up. Hall of Fame being the most you can possibly have with handles for days. So with stamina being a very important thing in 2K20, bro, because they really nerfed the mess out of stamina. They've been nerfing stamina every single year. And this is the latest nerf. Handles for days is a very important badge to have on because if you don't have it on, just you're gonna be dying on the court like pretty much you're gonna be dying on the court no matter what you're playing if you're playing rec or pro-am bro you're literally gonna have no energy by the fourth quarter so you definitely need handles for days it's that simple but yeah handles for days hall of fame that's why i ended up going with for the eighth badge upgrade all right next we got the bronze dimer badge dimer is the best passing badge to help your teammates hit shots it's that simple in my opinion now is it the best passing badge period in this game that's debatable but in my opinion, it's the best passing badge to help your teammates hit shots. Putting your own bronze is very important. Now, like I said, this is for the guard side. A lot of builds is not going to even be able to have diamond. But if you can get Hall of Fame badges on any position for playmaking, you will be able to get diamond. All right, next, we're just going to be moving diamond from bronze to silver. That's going to be helping you even more. And then for the next badge upgrade, we're just going to be going from silver to gold for the next badge upgrade. All right, and now for the 12th badge upgrade, we're going to be going from gold to Hall of Fame. And Dimer, once you get it to around gold or Hall of Fame, you're going to be pretty much, if your teammate's missing, that's not even on you, guy. Bro, it's not even on you. Now, a lot of people, a lot of people prefer Floor General. What people need to understand is Floor General does nothing to help you shoot better. It does nothing to help you shoot better. You still have to have time your shot. It does nothing to help you shoot better. All it does is it gives you a plus one to four to your attributes so that could be good to help somebody speed boost that could be good to help somebody reach a threshold for anything but when it comes to helping people shoot that's only going to give them one two four on this stuff now is it going to make the green window bigger yes but it's not going to make it just so much bigger that it's going to make a humongous difference now say for instance you're playing with a two-way slashing playmaker or something on your team and they already hit 99 if you give them a plus four now that would make a big difference because that's like plus eight to their original three you know what i'm saying it's like plus eight to their original but in my opinion i think dimer is a better badge than floor general i just think it is floor general is if you can't shoot on your build that plus four is not gonna make a, any type of difference it's gonna make a difference but it's not gonna make nearly the difference dimer does because dimer does a percentage base a percentage base difference it's not just doing your attributes it's gonna help you hit your shot at a higher rate it's just that simple so yeah and all right now for the next badge upgrade it's gonna be bailout we're gonna be doing bailout right here we're not gonna be going up anymore after this until like later in the video but bailout is a badge that increases the chance of successfully completing a pass from midair so if you're going with a slasher takeover or anything like that or even playmaker takeover bailout is a very good badge to have because it can literally just bail you out now when you go from bronze to hall of fame that's just gonna be making it hit your person perfectly like if you go for, like the higher you go up in it it's gonna make it's just gonna really see how good the pass is gonna be at the higher rate type thing so if that makes sense i think i can work that better um bailout is pretty much a badge that will bail you out better and better depending on how high you have it it's gonna make the pass faster it's gonna make the pass more accurate okay that's a perfect way to say that that's a that's a good way to say that all right then after bell out i'm gonna go be i'm gonna be putting on unpluckable now nope this is me going based off of just going off badge of grades i'm not going off what takeover you have because the takeover it doesn't really make the biggest difference but for right here i'm be going while i'm talking about unpluckable i'm gonna be going over what badges i would go for when it comes to takeover i would go for ankle breaker now i used to go for tight handles but i would go for ankle breaker now if you have playmaker takeover now you can go for ankle breaker too if you have the shot creator takeover but you can still go space creator because space creator didn't get that crazy of a nerf but tight handles had a big nerf bailout is the badge i would go for for slasher takeover and then for all the other takeovers it really just depends on you but yeah for this upgrade for the 14th badge upgrade i would go with unpluggable um, because turnovers are very easy to get you don't it doesn't even matter what the steal rating is if you don't have unpluggable on you're gonna lose the ball from random things stuff like that so you want to put on pluggable on it's one of the most inconsistent badges in the game but it's a needed badge it's like intimidated it's like an inconsistent badge but it's a needed badge 
All right, so next you're gonna be moving unpluggable from bronze to silver for the next badge upgrade. And for the next badge upgrade, you're gonna be going from silver to gold unpluggable. And for the next badge upgrade, which is going to be the 17th badge upgrade, you're gonna be going from gold to Hall of Fame unpluggable. And like I say, and all this stuff, going from bronze to silver to gold to Hall of Fame, it's gonna be a big incremental difference for every single one. Hall of Fame un Unpluggable is the best Unpluggable you can possibly have. Now, some people argue that it's no difference from Bronze to Hall of Fame or Gold is the best Unpluggable. But my opinion, I think Hall of Fame Unpluggable, if you can do it, just go ahead and put it to Hall of Fame, bro. I'm telling you, just go ahead and put it to Hall of Fame because literally, <clears throat> either way, it's an inconsistent badge. Like, no matter which one you have it on. So, if you have Hall of Fame Unpluggable, it's a lot harder to get, like, bump steals like RTX steals, all type of stuff like that. It's a lot harder. It's just a lot harder. You can do a lot more. It literally like makes the ball more clingy to you. It's just that simple. Now you will get bumped still. It's not, I'm not saying that you won't get the ball ripped at all. I'm not saying that, but it is definitely, you'll see a big difference. Well, you'll see a big difference at first. If you dribble a lot, you will see a big difference. All right, and next for the next badge upgrade is Ankle Breaker. Ankle Breaker is the best badge in the game as of right now to take ankles. It wasn't like that before. I know that's something crazy to sound. That's like a crazy thing to say because it's literally called Ankle Breaker, but it literally was almost useless. Literally was almost useless because Tight Handles was taking ankles. Space Creator takes ankles still. But Ankle Breaker right now is the best way to take ankles. It, it just is. It just is. You don't even have to have Tight Handles or Space Creator on anymore. No matter what you have, you can just use ankle breaker and it's gonna take ankles. No matter what it's on, it's gonna take ankles. It's, that sim it's just that simple. All right, you're gonna be going from bronze to silver ankle breaker for the next batch upgrade. And for the next badge upgrade, you're gonna be going from silver to gold ankle breaker. And then next you're gonna be going from gold to hall of fame ankle breaker for the 21st badge upgrade. Now. Ankle breaker, as you go up in ankle breaker, it will get you more and more ankle breakers and more and more different types of animations. Some, Cause sometimes when you're on bronze, it'll do like the little regular animation where it like stuns them. And then you go to silver, it does some that stuns them. And then some of them, that's like a little bit bigger ankle breakers. And then as you go up in ankle breaker, it gives you like the biggest ankle breakers you can possibly get. Now, is it possible to like legitimately drop somebody with ankle breaker? No. Now there are some animations where they like touch the floor, like they get all on the floor, start crawling, all type of stuff like that. But like when it comes to like literally just strictly dropping somebody, you cannot do that with ankle breaker. You can only do that with playmaker takeover. You couldn't do that with tight handles. You know what I'm saying? Like there's some, anim them some wild animations you can give with ankle breaker, but like you can't like legitimately just throw dude to the ground or nothing like that you know what i'm saying like you can't with playmaker takeover all right next is needle threader this is the badge we're gonna be doing now um needle threader is probably the best passing badge in the game what it does is it just threads the needle if it's a scary it will make it go through at a higher rate it's pretty much what it is it makes it go do you do faster passes no matter what other badges you have on it's just gonna be faster passes all types of stuff like that for the next badge upgrade, you're gonna be going from bronze to silver needle threader. For the next badge upgrade, you're gonna be going from silver to gold needle threader. And for the next badge upgrade, you're gonna be going from gold to Hall of Fame needle threader. And that's gonna be at your 25th badge upgrade. This is for people that have 25 badge upgrades. So you have now Hall of Fame needle threader, Hall of Fame ankle breaker, Hall of Fame dimer, Hall of Fame handles for days, Hall of Fame quick first step, Hall of Fame unpluggable, and bronze bailout. Um, needle threader is a very, very good badge I have on Hall of Fame. It's one of the most underrated badges in the game. It's the best passing badge in the game. It's literally that simple. Like once you get it Hall of Fame, pretty much it's impossible to counteract needle threader. Only way you can counteract it is if you have Hall of Fame interceptor. If you don't have interceptor on and somebody has Needle Threader, it's gonna be pretty hard to just get those passing lane steals. It's just that simple. It literally turns scaries into non-scaries because it speeds up the pass. It sometimes just let it go through. Like you can time it perfectly. It just lets the ball go through. It's just that simple. So yeah. All right, and for the next badge upgrade, now we're at 26. We're gonna be going from bronze bailout to silver bailout. For the next badge upgrade, we're gonna be going from silver bailout to gold bailout. 
And for the next badge upgrade, we're gonna be going from gold to Hall of Fame bailout finally. Because um, I don't know if people know this, but you don't necessarily need silver to Hall of Fame bailout. It just helps it a lot. Now, um, is it good to have Hall of Fame bailout on? Yes, because literally, either way, it doesn't change the percentage of how much you get turnovers. It just makes the pass better. So if you're playing with somebody that's like spotting up, and you get a double team, you will make up as accurate as a pass as possible every single time, pretty much, with bailout. Now, would a pass be accurate at bronze? No. Silver? No. Gold? It, it just gets more accurate. More faster. The passes you get faster and more accurate as you go up and bailout. Now, literally, does it make it... <laughs> like, does it make it do turnovers more the higher you go up? Um, I don't think it has anything to do with turnovers. In my experience, I don't think it has anything to do with it. But I use Hall of Fame, and I don't have this many badge upgrades. So if you want to use Hall of Fame, use it. But I wouldn't advise to use it just for just anybody. It's just depending on the takeover, I would use it no matter what if I have Slasher. You have to have it. I feel like it's a have-to-have badge bell out. But yeah, um, this is what I ended up going with for the 28th badge of gray and now we have hall of fame bella hall of fame anchor breaker hall of fame needle threader hall of fame unpluckable hall of fame quick first step hall of fame handles for days and hall of fame diamond all right and coming up next is floor general floor general is a badge that literally just improves your teammates offensive stats one once you go bronze it's that simple so all their offensive stats is gonna go up one now is that gonna if that helps them hit a threshold that's huge that's actually humongous it's huge it's actually huge if you're playing like a guard or big but literally sometimes it literally it, the people that put four general on are the people that really like are the guard so it really just depends on what you plan on like if you're on a team if you're like on a program team and you got like some people on your team that can hit thresholds that's big it's really a good bit it's really a badge for like pro-am or jordan wreck or something like that it's really what floor general in my opinion is for it's not like for twos maybe it's for threes i guess you could say it's for threes if you're playing with two guards and a big but like that's not the greatest lineup to have in my opinion but yeah uh floor general bronze is the next badge upgrade and then last but not least for the last badge upgrade for the 30th badge of grade, you're going to be going from bronze to silver floor general. And that's going to be plus two to every offensive stat to your teammates. That doesn't do anything for you. But for your teammates, it's, that's pretty big, especially if they're hitting thresholds. Now, in my opinion, will that plus two to your three-pointer make a big difference? No, it's just going to slightly, like very, very slightly make their three-point uh, green window or mid-range green window bigger or even their layup green window bigger it makes it just makes the green window slightly bigger like the game the green window in this game is very very small compared to like all the other 2ks but like once you get green machine it's literally like green machine the hot zone hunter is literally like you know what i'm saying so if you're not green already without if your teammates aren't green already without floor general they most likely aren't so like i said earlier in the video Diamond is better than Floor General, in my opinion. That's why I would only use Floor General if you have this many badges, or depending on what type of build or what type of game mode you're playing. So if you're playing like Rec or Pro Am, I understand it. But like if you're playing twos, I just don't, I can't, I can't understand it. But yeah. All right, now for the big man side. Like I said, bro, we're only gonna do 15 of these. None of these are gonna be Hall of Fame. It's just because mainly there's pretty much only one build that i know that is literally a big man base or spot up base or anything like that type of build like the speed boosting perimeter slot down i guess could be a spot up type of build but you can speed boost on that so i would consider that part of the guard side playmaking glass sooner consider that part of the guard side uh pass first wing stuff like that so consider that part of the guard side playmaking four rail around it five consider that part of the guard side for the badges now, when it comes to the big man side, the first badge upgrade I will be going with is break starter because literally you're a big man, you're getting a board, launch the ball. Now I can see break starter not really being needed for big men that are playing twos. If you're playing twos, don't, I wouldn't go break starter, but pretty much <laughs> if you're a big man, you really don't necessarily need any other badges. All right, next we're just gonna be going from bronze to silver break starter for the next badge upgrade. And then for three badge upgrades, what I would have for big men is gold break starter. It's gonna have you 
pretty much at almost the best break starter you can possibly have since we're not going with hall of fame it is the best possible break starter you would possibly have but yeah it's gonna help you do as much as effective outlet passes quicker outlet passes better outlet passes accurate outlet passes less turnovers off outlet passes after grabbing a rebound pretty much that so if you're playing twos i understand why you wouldn't put break break starter on but yeah all right for the next badge of great i went with post spin technician post spin technician is gonna literally just improve your ability to do post spins it's gonna get you some glitchy animations stuff like that for the next badge upgrade, you're going to be going from bronze to silver, post-spin technician. And for the next badge upgrade, you're going to be going from silver to gold. And that's going to be having you doing almost the glitchiest animations possible. It's going to pretty much be effective as possible, depending on if they have moving truck or post-move lockdown. They have post-move lockdown. Um, that's kind of like the badge that cancels out post-move technician, dream shake, um, badges like drop stepper, stuff like that. Movement truck is the badge that just cancels out, um, back down punisher or over if somebody's just stronger than you and they, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. All right, next. Now this might be questionable, but I went with bronze quick first step. Now there's a lot of, there's not too many big men that can, um, get seven playmaking badge of grace but if you can i will go with bronze quick first step now also if you play twos instead of break starter you could go with quick first step bronze all the way to gold for your first three badges like you get two silver quick first step you get one bronze quick first step three gold quick first step and then you can just go just follow it through there because you don't really need quick break start if you play twos you know what i'm saying and then for the next badge upgrade, we went from bronze to silver quick first step. That's going to be move, making you move way faster, especially if you're a big man. Quick first step, if you, this is kind of surprising, but 2K Lab did a study on it. Quick first step makes the biggest difference for people with low ball control. So it's going to have you moving a lot faster. It's going to pretty much double your speed. So yeah. All right. And for the ninth badge upgrade, you're going to be going from silver to gold quick first step. And that's going to have you zooming. That's going to have you zooming. It's going to have you moving way faster than what's got on you because I don't, there's not a badge on defense to help you move faster. It's going to, there's a badge on defense to help you like not lose as much energy, but it's not a badge that will be move faster. Now there's a badge to help you clamp up people that have low ball control, which is clamps. So that's kind of like a counteract for quick first step for big men that use quick first step. But if you know what you're doing, quick first step gold is very, very OP for big man because it, it makes you just so much faster. The, the higher you have it, it just makes you that much faster. Now, we're not going over Hall of Fame, but Hall of Fame is crazy on big man. All right, and for the 10th badge upgrade, we're going to go with Bronze Dream Shake. Dream Shake is literally for up and unders. Anytime you do an up and under, so it's just going to raise the chances that a defender bites when doing fakes in the post. Also, it's going to help you shoot a higher percentage off of up and under takes and stuff like that. So, yeah. For the next badge upgrade, we're going to be going from Bronze Dream Shake to Silver Dream Shake. Honestly, I don't really understand why Dream Shake is on playmaking. I feel like it's more of a um finishing type of badge but yeah and then for the next badge upgrade you're gonna be going from silver to gold dream shake and that's gonna be having you doing up and unders making your defender bite more and more on them also helping you hit them at a higher rate as you keep going up so yeah that's really gonna be really good if you like a post score dream shake and post spin technician are very important for you you know what i'm saying it's very important for you so yeah all right next now this might be debatable but i went with needle threader needle threader bronze is what i ended up going with for the next badge upgrade needle threader is the best passing badge in the game when it comes to like threading the needle just throwing passes like it makes your passes faster makes them more accurate um it makes them harder to get stolen stuff like that so it, in my opinion it's the best passing badge. now is it the best um passing playmaking badge that's kind of confusing i'm not gonna lie but in my opinion, that's debatable. Like I said with Dimer, it's debatable. It's between Dimer and Needle Thread. But since you can't get Floor General or Dimer on like these type, if you're a big man, if you're not a point guard or build that can get playmaking badges, Hall of Fame, you can't get Dimer or Floor General. So we just gonna go with Needle Thread. For the next playmaking badge upgrade, we're gonna be going from bronze to silver Needle Threader. And last but not least, we're gonna be going from silver to gold needle threader and that's gonna make your passes that much better in every type of situation whether you're 
Like if, if if you have break starter, it's gonna make your break starter passes better. It like makes all your passes better. It like makes it takes turn scaries into like non scaries, I guess you could say. Um, it makes them harder to get stolen, makes them faster, stuff like that. But yeah, this is the best playmaking bass setup for the guards, bigs, spot ups, all of the above. Um, I went over pretty much everything. I went over every type of thing when it comes from 1 to 30 for the guards. I did, went over bad setup for 1 to 15 for the big. So, yeah, man, for that alone, go ahead. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, man. We got more videos coming out every single day. Turn on post notifications to be the first to all my videos. Like I said, bro, I'm going to be dropping calls in the comments and in the community tab. So if you guys want that, you got to be as quick as possible. It's, just, it's that simple. You got to be as quick as possible. This is not a giveaway or nothing. This is just me. I guess it kind of is, but it's not really. I'm just going to be dropping codes random. Now, um, it's going to be random PS4 or Xbox code. So it really just depends on <laughs> if you play it or not. But yeah, it's your boy Fitz, man. And I'm Head in the clouds, walk through the city, they taking you out. Bitches be talking, they running, they bout. A bag in the back and a stick in the couch. You know what it's about. Uh, Had to cope with all the pain, so I'm about to die. Uh, they say he going too fast. Someone gotta stop him.